Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. Hopefully you guys are happy it's Friday as much as I am. I'm excited to bring you your weekly fishing update and all things Hubbard's Marina here on our weekend email newsletter and our weekend updates on YouTube. Hopefully you guys are excited for this nice little weather window this weekend. It's looking nice and it's starting to calm down today and definitely looking a lot better there Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Weather-wise, Monday's okay, but it starts to pick up a little bit and definitely looking a little nautical right now for midweek coming up. But this time of year, it is so turbulent. This is very typical spring where we get these really windy events and these little kind of weird weather uh, phenomenon, but it's also a time of year in which these forecasts really get difficult because they're essentially forecasting these wind patterns based on the locations of multiple fronts frontal boundaries and that can fluctuate very very easily so these algorithms are essentially making educated guesses on how the wind's going to react to these frontal boundaries so long story short often in the spring we see forecasts change drastically so only pay attention one two three days out that's really all you can count on because it will change fluctuate greatly if you're looking at forecasts five six seven days out a lot of times that can completely change between now and then so that is the good news hopefully it's going to calm down for us a little bit next week because like i said around midweek next week it does look like it might pick up a little bit but right now next weekend looking good so this weekend's pretty good next weekend looking real good so kind of into that pattern now where we're seeing more of the weather kind of mid work week uh, which is good for those who work during the week and want to get out there on the weekend uh, as far as the fishing goes we're crushing them out here when the weather allows us to get out there to them near shore a lot of mackerel and the kingfish have popped off in a big way we're seeing a lot of kingfish this past week really seeing some good numbers and uh, some decent sized fish even lost what we think was a really big smoker on the troll so some big kingfish around lots of mackerel we're still seeing those hogfish it has slowed down a little bit for the hogs but they are around still and we are still catching them and targeting them uh, the red grouper bite though has picked up significantly we're starting to see more of those red grouper on our 10 hour all day so you got a shot for them and definitely offshore we're seeing more of those red grouper but near shore focus right now lane snapper uh, seeing some decent mangrove snapper action and a handful of those hogfish and red grouper then offshore really focused on those fat red grouper if you're someone going illegally through John's pass you're supposed to be going slow it's no wake slow speed but hey some people like to go planed off through John's pass so that's what distracted me but as I was saying, offshore right now, focused on those fat red groupers, seeing some nice scant grouper mixed in. Plus we got those big trigger fish. The 39 hour that just came in uh, yesterday had a limit of ha uh, limit of mangrove snapper, excuse me, a lot of lane snapper, vermilions, yellow tails. It was a great trip. Uh, despite the weather, they had some rough weather they had to contend with, but they ended up doing pretty well despite the weather. So good opportunity there near shore and offshore. Inshore right now, the snook are back in town in a big way. We're still seeing a few sheep's head around, but the mangrove snapper starting to take over a little bit. We've got a lot of schooling redfish and the trout bite has been pretty steady. A lot of pompano out in the beach right now. A lot of mackerel out there too. And the whiting are starting to come back. We're starting to see more of those bonnet heads. So good time to get out there inshore as well if you can't get out on the boat with us. Also, don't forget every Sunday night we've got our live stream show 7:30 p.m. We give away tons of free stuff, so don't miss our Sunday night shows. Every Saturday morning we have our Real Animals Radio Show that streams live to our Facebook pages as well. So join us for that. And then finally, don't forget every month at the end of the month every final friday every last friday of the month from 6 to 9 p.m we have our big crawfish boil we give away free food free drinks there's a john's pass wide pub crawl lots of fun 
uh, for Final Friday events. So hopefully we'll see you Final Fridays. And then also don't forget to check out Don's Dock Seafood Market. Come get your fresh fish. Uh, if you're too busy to go fishing, you can just stop by and buy some fresh fish. Plus we have crabs, we have oysters, we have clams, we have shrimp, lobster, and so much more down there as well. So stop by and see us at Don's Dock, a fresh seafood market down here at the east end of the boardwalk, or stop by Hubbard's Marina and go dolphin watching, shelling to the island, sunset cruising, or deep sea fishing, of course, as well. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Hopefully you enjoyed these updates. Hopefully we'll see you out here on the water to have some real fun in the sun with the original and longest run in Hubbard's Marina since 1928. Y'all have a great day. Tight lines.